Well, um, good evening. Uh, welcome, uh, Connect Group leaders. It's wonderful to be with you. Um, some of you were unable to make our evening, and some of you, it's just nice to have a, a little recap of what we did. Um, so here's a short video just to fill anyone in um, or recap where we're at uh, with Connect Groups. I am so excited to welcome you um, to... Uh, becoming a connect leader or maybe you're watching this because you've seen it on our youtube and thought oh tell me more about connect groups dan so welcome whether you're a leader or whether you're just interested in what's going on um, connect groups are the next phase of small group ministry in st mark's st mark's has a great heritage um, and history with small groups and uh, myself i was brought up with sm um we called themselves uh, they followed phil potter's um book uh, at least that we used the four w's and um um, and for me personally, I grew immensely as, as a disciple of Christ, um, particularly in focusing on Jesus, uh, hearing from other people. Uh, that's that sense of testimony. You know, I don't see God doing it in my life, but I see it in their life and I see how their life is changed. And so I'm going to pray, Lord Jesus, bless what they're doing. and Will you change me as well? Um, and so if that's what just part of what small group ministry can be, isn't it a good thing? Um, and so I'm just so excited. Um, so uh, we did a little welcome. Um, I, I, I structured our evening on Tuesday on um, a, a small group method, uh, sort of structure around the four W's. We did a bit of worship and um, uh, and then I took them into these two passages. You're not surprised if you're uh, familiar or if you've been journeying with us um, through, well, at least the last year. These are two key verses for me. 2 Timothy 1 verses 6 to 7. For this reason, Paul writes to Timothy, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Uh, for the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love and self-discipline. Um, these are beautiful passages from Paul and uh, I just wanted to share with you um, if, if I've invited you to be a connect leader uh, I have seen um, leadership potential in you I've seen that either you are a leader or you have that potential um, I've seen that uh, uh, you have that emotional intelligence to be able to um, uh, just support a group um, to listen to others, to spot where people are uh, maybe in need. Maybe there's some non-verbal clues that they're giving through their body language that just uh, means it just alerts you to, to just ask how they're doing or maybe have a chat with them after the group or give them a phone call in the week. Uh, my hope is that these connect groups will be the uh, the primary vehicle for pastoral ministry. We've got a beautiful care team who are doing a fantastic job. Uh, we've got loads of friendship networks. Each ministry has its own pastoral structures. Uh, but there are lots of people who are still not fully connected. Connect groups, you know, it's in the name, isn't it? We want to connect with people. So we want to co be connecting with Jesus, connecting with each other, connecting with our community. Doesn't that sound familiar? Because our strapline as a church is knowing Jesus, loving each other and caring for our community. See what I've done there? I've just replaced all of the, um, uh, the yes, the, the adjectives, um, sorry, the verbs with, uh, with connecting. Um, and uh, this will not be a, a new concept to you. Um, we have a, a, a wonderful trinity, God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Um, we've also got three things that we seek when we are doing anything, but particularly in small groups, I want as core to what we're doing. But firstly, we're looking to go up to God. In our groups, I want us to be focusing on God. I want these to be places of deep encounter with Jesus. Um, I would love us to be uh, in. Um, uh, so we've got the up to God. We've got the in, which is to the fellowship of the group and ministry. So as individuals, we have a place to connect and to be with others um, and to grow as disciples of Christ. And then for these groups to be outward focused, uh, focused on uh, mission and evangelism. And that's why we're organising these groups around maybe a men's ministry, uh, mental health and well-being, food provision, tango, um, uh, young, uh, well, families and young people. Um, and uh, there are there are other groups. Um, uh, what have I missed? Uh, the word, uh, having a bit of a, a Bible study, a, a prophetic and healing. Um, these are all areas that we're passionate about that in six months to a year, it might be sooner, but you know, in a six months to a year, I'd love us to be developing uh, and pray, particularly discerning, what is God calling us to do? What is our outreach? That will be different for every single group. 
Um, and so the families group, it may be coming alongside the existing things that's happening with Kay and, and with Josh or maybe one-off events. Um, maybe it's uh, particularly holding each other accountable for, do you know, when, when I'm at the school gate, I really struggle um, to talk about Jesus. Um, and I'm unsure what that looks like or how appropriate it would be. And um, can you pray with pray, pray for me this week? I'd like to speak to whoever it is, Jody or, you know, <laughs> whoever it is. Um, and uh, um, I want to, I want to, I, I just, can we pray that I have an opportunity there, a natural opportunity? And you pray together. And then the next week, how did it go? Did you manage to chat to Jody? Um, it, it, it could be, I mean, the men's ministry, it might be more than a, it might be a men's breakfast. It might be other things. It could be all sorts. Uh, every group will be unique and different. And my big thing is this isn't just Dan's structure of ministry. In fact, you'll see this isn't Dan's structure. Uh, I have, I've discerned something from God's. I'm really excited about uh, just repackaging small groups in this way. But all of this, you have done Done before if you've been in St Mark's so uh, uh, yeah just please don't see this as brand new uh, or reinventing the wheel we're using the great heritage we have and so up to God connecting with Jesus um, inwardly uh, connecting with each other outwardly connecting with the community and what are our values what are our key values in our connect groups wow it's what we're used to. This is the, you know, this is the core. Uh, we might call it the DNA of St. Mark's or we might call it the, the um, values that have just underpinned, yes, Cell Church, but St. Mark's. That all are involved. So get other people to lead the, the worship or the welcome. And then when they're feeling a bit more, um, uh, you know, ready to do it, unpacking the words. You've got um, small group notes written, connect group notes will be written by the clergy of the church on the sermon series. So you're being equipped and those individuals are being equipped. Use it as a springboard. Don't feel confined by what we've given you. These are a springboard to help you. It's in equipping. And so someone who's never done Bible study before can just ask the questions and you can come alongside them to see them released into leading that Bible study or um, or, or leading the, the worship, um, uh, being creative in the welcome. So all involved. Obviously, it's all about becoming disciples. This is one of the primary reasons for having these groups, creating community. Uh, connect groups exist because we felt a disconnection um, in uh, over the uh, over the last few last year, particularly, but also, you know, um, before lockdown, people were feeling disconnected. Uh, doing doing evangelism um, on D. Uh, that's why we've organised these uh, around um, missional priorities for the church, or missional organisations, or missional opportunities. Things that people are passionate about not really sure maybe how to go about it and do you know what if you're all passionate about the same thing and you're praying lord what are you calling us to do he'll lead you he'll guide you and you're more likely to be going in the same direction or discerning in the same sort of area and, and then finally encountering god as i said was critical um, and and you know that worship time and that prayer time at the end is going to be so important to your groups and it might be if you're we meeting weekly that you have a traditional sort of imagine cell style small group on three of those weeks and then the fourth one perhaps you you spend most of the night discerning from God what he's calling you to do um, and maybe that's something you want to put in sort of two months three months in if you're meeting fortnightly that could be every third maybe every fourth meeting becomes something like that now that might not as I say that might not be immediately but within within the six, first six months I'd love you to be starting to have just one evening um, I, you know, well you know whatever works uh, within your patterns but something that's that's regular where you're just stopping and saying lord what what are you calling us to do and that could be personal evangelism that could be a group evangelism thing um, also just to say these groups are not um, decision making bodies we have other groups in the church standing committee subcommittee of tango um, stewardship team there's loads of teams within church that that do the decisions in different ways and have been delegated by the PCC these groups are, are, are primarily fellowship and bible study groups uh, who we pray will organically discern what God is calling them to do. And I would love the small groups, the connect groups to be saying to the staff team, hey, we've got this great idea. We think God might be calling us to do this. And we ask, you know, have you got some, can you support us? Can you uh, help us with some resources and things? Obviously it's around the four W's, uh, welcome, worship, word, and witness. And then the fifth one isn't a W, it's prayer. So welcome, worship, word, and witness. You're used to that. Obviously, prayer is going to be important. Prayer for each other. And then you want to be spending a significant amount of time on a semi-regular basis discerning what God is calling you to do.